organization supporting young aspiring baseball and softball players in the community. In their inaugural year, the Bulldogs currently have two softball teams representing ages 6 through 8 years old. The focus is that all players in the organization have access to quality skill development, coaching and mentorship, as well as opportunity to compete and develop into successful student athletes and leaders. It is our dream that one day these athletes will be standing on the foul lines in their respective school's uniforms, prepared to compete at a high level and dominate whatever future dreams and aspirations they may have. The mission is to continue to add both baseball and softball teams to the organization as players continue to age up. The Miners Box Ball Club Bulldogs was brought to life with the help and support of the Banner Box owners, Will Kearns and Brendan Tillett, SCHS softball alumni and Banner Box manager, Morgan Gilbert, alongside of SCHS softball alumni, Brittany Carpenter Christie and her husband, Aaron. The 2015 Bulldogs are proudly coached by FHS softball alumni, Brittany Brewer, with assistance, Derek Evans, Sammy Trainer and Marcus Anderson. The 2016 Bulldogs are coached by Cameron Herrick and supported by assistants Joshua Coy and Brandon McLean. The Batters Box Bulldogs will be hosting the first annual Bulldog Brawl April 27th here at Sally Ames and would love the support of the community. During the tournament there will be a silent auction and raffle opportunities as well. You can show your support today by donating to the Batters Box Ball Club and a follow one C3 nonprofit at the concession stand. Now let's meet the Bulldogs. First up, the 2015 team. Number 34, Izzy Best Allison. Number five, Briar Anderson. Number one, Jenna Christie. Number 23, Sinye Collin. Number 17, Macy Curry. Number zero, Kennedy Evans. Number 18, Tegan Gertley. Number 16, Riley Metcalf. Number nine, Aniston Roberts. Number seven, Paisley Stevens. And number 15, Layton Trainer. And now for the 2016 team members. Number 12, Lena Collins. Number 10, Kinsley Harrod. Number 8, Mackenzie Hedinger. Number 99, Kinsley McLean. Number 21, Raylan McCoy. Number 15, Skylar McCoy. Number 96, Sahana Hargis. Number 36, Annalise Linville. And number 13, Ella Grace Thompson. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2015 and 2016 Bulldogs. Fans, I'd like to direct your attention to the pitching circle, where Morgan Gilbert will go out to throw out the first pitch as Riley Warner waits as the catcher. All right, we have a little bit of a little ball to the man. Great job, Morgan.
Now, now I ask both teams to remain on the foul line. We'll do our starting lineups. First, for the visiting Western Hills Lady Wolverines. Batting first, that shortstop. Number 10, Allie Jones. Batting second, the pitcher. Number 33, Addie Watson. Batting third, the catcher. Number nine, Carrington Briscoe. Playing first base and batting fourth, number 22, Kylie Martin. Batting fifth in left field, number four, Ellie Roberts. Batting sixth at second base, number 14, Presley Fell. Batting seventh in center field, number 21, Caitlin Craven. Batting eighth in right field, number two, Loki Akula. And Batty Knight at third base, number five, Mackenzie Heller. Coaching staff for the Lady Wolverines assistants, Jerry Conley, Macy Johnson, Greg McGee, Katie Redman, Buddy Ritchie, and the head coach, Brian Redman. Coach Ken Marlott, 
41st District Girls Softball here on Cable 10. Welcome, folks, to Sally Gaines Field here at Franklin County High School, where the Lady Flyers are set to take on the Crosstown Rivalry, rivalry a team, the Western Hills Lady Wolverines. On the mound for Franklin County, you see her right there. That's Kelly Wired. She'll be starting out in the circle for Franklin County. Western Hills, of course, will be starting off. They're the visitors here tonight in this contest. Both teams doing fairly well. Uh, Western Hills uh, on a five-game winning streak, but in the middle of the season, they went on a six-game losing streak. So they're hoping to keep the bats going. For Western Hills, leading off will be Allie Jones. Allie's going to be the shortstop. And she goes out into the field. And that pitch is high. So it's 3 and 0 here to the first batter. Let's that one go by and draws the walk. Now approaching the plate, Addison Watson. She's the pitcher and has, uh, has been the pitcher for the Wolverines for the last couple, maybe three years. And she hits it to second base. Safe at first, but it's a fielder's choice and Jones is out at second. Carrington Briscoe coming up next here for the Lady Wolverines. She'll be behind the plate when Western Hills takes the field. And looks at ball one. By the way, I'm Clint Goins, and joining me now is the former Morgan Bullock and now Morgan Gilbert. You played your high school softball right here, didn't you? I sure did. Here at Sally Gaines. And she made a, she was part of a uh, pregame ceremony, which we'll, uh, we'll talk about a little bit later. As Briscoe Looks at another ball. And she draws a walk too. So one down, two on for Lady Wolverines. It's a tough start with the two walks in the first inning. It's definitely not what Tracy Spickard will win out of her senior pitcher, Kelly Wired. Looks like her and Warner are going to meet and talk about it and see if they can get on the same page. Yeah. 
Kylie Morgan, I think, is is the batter stepping into the box for Western Hills. Yes, she's a cleanup batter, and it's uh, <laughs> is it Riley Warner? Yep, yeah, Riley Warner behind the, the plate. Mm -hmm. Another fielder's choice. They get the uh, runner at first this time, however, and with two down. Wolverines have two players in scoring position, and Ellie Roberts will come up to bat. This is a big opportunity for Western Hills. Ellie Robert is 31st in the state with five home runs, so definitely the potential right here to score some runs top of the first for Western Hills. I'm a little bit surprised she swung at that first pitch since Wired is struggling just a little bit. I think I might make her work harder and throw me a strike first before I swung at one. But. Her coach was probably thinking the same thing. <laughs> That's up the middle, and it gets through. That's going to score one and probably two. And Roberts is going to go for second base on that little uh, error. We'll give her a hit and two RBIs. So, I think only one made it across the plate. It looks like Brian Redman held up. Oh, really? The trail oh, okay. runner at third. Not looking to be aggressive in the first. Early on, yeah. Nice pitch there. That a way to get ahead of the batter. Here's another look at Roberts' swing. I believe this is Presley Fell batting now for the Lady Wolverines. Warner working hard back there behind the plate. Yeah, Franklin County will want to get out of this with minimal damage, keeping the ball in front, keeping that runner from advancing home. And that's to right field and out of play. Fell hanging in there. That one not where Wired wanted it to go. Yeah, it just seems like she's really struggling to find her stuff in the first inning. Could be nerves. This is a this is a big game, big matchup. Oh yeah, big rivalry. And Fell draws the walk, third walk to lead off the game here. And now the bases are loaded for the Wolverines as Caitlin Cravens comes to the plate. Close, but the umpire did not bite. Cravens is one of four of the seniors that Western Hills starts on their roster. Both Western Hills and Franklin County have four seniors and both have returning players with loads of experience. Another ball. Good pitch. Hit to right field, but it's going to be caught by Lofton, and that will end the inning. And mercifully, Franklin County uh, is able to hold the Wolverines to just one run. We'll come back with the bottom of the first right after this on Cable 10. Game of the Week is brought to you by West Banco Bank. Money doesn't make you wealthy, understanding it does. So let's talk. Learn more at westbanco.com. Low credit, this looks 
Impossible. Kate. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Didn't try that again. <laughs> the average first shot. How do I get to good credit? No obstacles on this one. Here we go. Credit scores can be loan obstacles, too. <laughs> get credit advice for life from West Bengo. Money doesn't make you wealthy. Understanding it does. Game of the Week is brought to you by Clark's Pump and Shop. Are you looking to refresh and refuel on your next road trip? Look no further than Clark's Pump and Shop, the official fuel of the KHSAA. Clark's is family owned and operated with 68 locations all across Kentucky, Ohio, and West Virginia. Clark's Pump and Shop wishes all teams a successful and healthy season. Clark's Pump and Shop, return, refresh, refuel. Discover the convenience of Clark's Pump and Shop, your go-to local pit stop. Clark's proudly serves your neighborhood with new locations popping up just around the corner. Swing by today and indulge in a selection of your favorite snacks and drinks. We're committed to elevate your on-the-go taste experience. Clark's Pump and Shop is your premier destination for all things convenience and satisfaction. Stop by today at a Clark's Pump and Shop near you. Clark's Pump and Shop, return, refresh, refuel. Welcome back, folks, to Sally Gaines Field. Clint Goins and Morgan Gilbert here with you. In the circle, Addison Watson for the Wolverines and Madison McCoy at the plate for Franklin County. Addie Watson comes to this game uh, 38th in the state with a 1.82 ERA. Wow, Franklin County will have homework. their... <laughs> I'm Franklin impressed. County will have their work cut out for them in this game. Well, Madison got a run on that one. Yep, a tad early. As the leadoff batter, your job here is just to see pitches, set the tone of the game, be selective, and most importantly, try to get on base. Addie came back with a change after she was early just trying to make up speeds. Well, I'm so glad you're here because that's the hardest part uh, for me is identifying pitches in girls softball. I mean, I know that was a change up, but that's about all I can tell you. So Madison works it up to three and one here. Yeah, so at this point, she's gonna be highly selective, looking for her pitch. We teach them to cut the plate in half. Just focus on one spot. And she draws the walk. She did her job. Lead off batter, get on base. Scores 90% of the time on average. I'd say you don't see uh, Addison Watson walk too many lead off batters. Not with a 1.82 ERA. <laughs> this is Bailey Spickard. Bailey is a senior for Franklin County. She had a heck of a season as a bowler this year. Received regional and state honors in bowling. And of course, she is the daughter of uh, Tracy Spickard, the coach at West or at uh, Franklin County, and she's been coach gosh for twenty six seasons. Twenty six seasons. Twenty six. Wow. Bailey looking to lay a bunt down. Two strikes. She's going to have to hit away here. Yeah, Tracy's been uh, the captain at Franklin County for twenty six seasons, and she's the fifth active winningest coach uh, in the state of Kentucky with a win percentage of 616. Wow, pretty impressive. And we should mention that Western Hills is coached by Brian Redman, and he's been there 10 years. So we got a lot of experience here in the coaching category. Oh, nice dive, but just a little bit short. It's pretty aggressive base running. Yeah, had that been caught. Yeah, that was a for sure out. No way she was getting back in time. We'll just say that was a really good read off the bat. That was Cravens out there. 
making the play for the Wolverines. And the and the, the impressive part to me is that she dived or she dove and still kept the ball in front of her. Right. A so, lot of times you dive and then boom, it's over your head and extra bases. We saw that with Ellie De La Cruz in his in the park home run a couple of weeks ago. If you're a Reds fan. <laughs> And you have cable. True. Good swing That's there, right down the line. That's going to score a run. Off the bat of Riley Warner. Riley leads the Flyers in batting average. Um, she's ninth in the state, touting at 633. And that's super impressive considering the opponents that Franklin County has faced thus far. That scores Madison McCoy and moves Baby Spicker over to the third base. Avery Lofton now at the plate for the Lady Flyers. And Western Hills yet to get an out here. As a coach, you really want to see your team being able to throw that punch back. Um, so kudos to Franklin County with fighting back in the bottom of the first. And there's another probably base hit. And that's going to score another run. And she will take second on the oh. throw. And Franklin County being aggressive. But... Tagged out at home, I believe. I'm okay with seeing aggressiveness there. It's, you know, a big game. It's the first part of the game. Set the tone and be aggressive on those base paths. Briscoe with the tag. Here's another look at it. Flyers two to one. Another runner in the scoring position, and no tag there. As I think that was, uh, that was Loki. Loki Akula made the play, right? Yep. Every time I think of her name, I say her name, I think of the Lion King. Akula Matata, but that's not exactly. No, I, no. Not, not the way it goes, Don't but still. Carly Old stepping in for Franklin County. Oh. And uh, an error cost a run. And I'm not sure. I'm gonna give it an E6. Yeah, I believe that uh, I believe the runner would have been safe even if first base had been able to secure that ball. Just a little bobby bobble. There you see it. Franklin County on top now. Three to one. I really think that you're seeing the nervousness out of both teams here opening up this game. This has been a rival. Um, you have to go back to 2021 was the last time that Franklin County was victorious over Western Hills. Last year, Western Hills beat them both home and away. And safe. Got under it. That was a close play on the steal. County's really come out very aggressive on the base pass. All right, let's go. And that's an easy grounder to Watson, and that will shut down the first inning. Franklin County recovers and now leads three to one at the end of one here on Cable 10. 
Game of the Week is brought to you by Tim and Rebecca Hubbard with Exit Realty Crutcher. Choose local realtors that treat you like family because real estate is what we do and families are why we do it. In today's fast-paced housing market, you need realtors with experience who understand that timing is essential when finding the perfect home for the right price. Tim and Rebecca Hubbard with Exit Realty Crutcher are here to ensure that you and your family have a positive experience from start to finish. Real estate is what we do. And families are why we do it. Game of the Week is brought to you by McTribe McDonald's. McTribe McDonald's offers the perfect career combo. With college tuition assistance, flexible schedules, and free meals, we have benefits for everyone. Apply today by texting APPLY to 38000. Porque deberías trabajar con nosotros en McDonald's. Ofrecemos horarios flexibles y tiempo de vacaciones pagado para todos nuestros empleados. We can also offer you daily pay and a 401k plan. Si eres estudiante, podemos ayudarte con asistencia para los estudios. You would also be eligible for free meals. Apply today and get started in a supporting environment here at McDonald's. Welcome back, folks. Top of the second here in this 41st District girls softball game between Franklin County and Western Hills. There we have Lokia Akula, who made the catch in right field just a while ago. Swings at a bad pitch there, though. That was almost in the dirt. Yeah, it's really critical for both batters when you have pitchers that are kind of struggling not to assist them in any way and just really make sure that they're throwing strikes. Takes another one foul. Fouls that one off. Looks like a discussion here between Kelly and Franklin County's pitching coach, Kara Howard and Tracy Spickard. Curious to know what that was about. Do you happen to know uh, what the rule is on visits with the pitcher? Yeah, you get one pitcher, every, you get one visit one every inning. If you make a second visit in that inning, the pitcher to has come to come out. out. So it's kind of like the same as baseball. Yeah, but I think that was initiated by the umpire. So it wouldn't count. Right. Uh, something must have been with maybe her delivery or the way that she uh, presented the, herself on the mound. Akula goes down swinging. This will bring up Mackenzie Hellard. I believe Hellard is just coming off of a wrist injury. So it's good to see her back in the lineup to finish out her senior year. Even it up to one to one. Oh. Take your base. That's the way you got to wear it. Brings us to the top of the lineup for Western Hills with Allie Jones. Jones drew a walk to lead off this game. Fielder's choice, they get one. Oh, oh, I've got a ball With a double play. So Franklin County puts Western Hills down one, two, three, the hard way in the top of the second. Here's another look at it. Was it? I think, I think it's a good call. I think it's a good call. All right, bottom of the second coming up next here on Cable 10. Game of the Week is brought to you by Whitehead Hancock. 
Whitehead Hancock Plumbing has been serving Franker families for more than 100 years. You can trust Whitehead Hancock for all your plumbing, heating, cooling, and septic needs. Call them today at 502-227-2213 for 24-hour emergency service or visit their website at whiteheadhancock.com. Tune in to Around 10, Frankfurt's very own morning show. We cover all the happenings in the capital city every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 10 a.m. Live on Cable 10, Facebook, and YouTube. Remember, if it happens around town, it's on Around 10. Welcome back, everyone. Bottom of the second coming up. Franklin County at bat with a 3-1 to one lead. Addie Watson will be looking to make some adjustments here. Addie's been the starting pitcher for Western Hills for this is at least her third, maybe fourth year. I mean, she's been their ace for quite some time. Yeah, absolutely. And she is in the state record stat book this year in numerous areas, including pitching and hitting. Mm, that was close. I thought that was across the letters, but. Umpire didn't think so. I need to talk to her father. I'm sure she's playing college softball somewhere next year. Yeah, I believe she's uh, signed with Georgetown. Her father and I played softball together years ago. I also played with her grandfather. So that just means the you're late really James old. James Watson. That means I'm really old. Really yes. old. And he was a, a very good player. Both her Ooh. father and grandfather were very good players. So Franklin County has a pair of sisters sharing the lineup. Uh, this is Emma Olds, the younger sister to Carly Olds. And then we also have the, the speaker, speaker twins. twins. Yes. <laughs> That's a nice cut. Here's another look at it. She connected with that one. Oh. Did, did Akula catch it? I Apparently think she not. Dropped. And again, more aggressive base running from Franklin County. It's two errors for the Western Hills defense. Here it is again. I thought she had it, but yep. In there and out of there. Lead off double for Emma Olds. This will bring up the pitcher, Kelly Wired. That's a strike on the corner. Kelly is the fourth of the seniors that's come into the plate in the game today for Franklin County. He's down the bunt, moves the runner, makes an out, but. Gets the sacrifice, moves a runner over to third, 60 feet away from scoring. Job well done. Mm -hmm. I have found uh, through my years in coaching that bunting over the last few years has somewhat become a lost art. Really? It, it was one of my favorite things to do when I played. I even got called on a couple of times in college to squeeze. Wow. I, uh, 
I really like small ball, to be totally honest. Uh, that's my preference. I mean, I, I like a home run as much as anybody, I guess, but I really like the, to see them uh, work through base hits to bring runners across. Yeah, the game's definitely changed in that aspect. Back when I played at County, it's very common for the game to end one to nothing. See a lot of bunt, see a lot of small ball. Bats have changed, pitching has changed. We just see a whole lot more high-powered offense in today's game. Now, why is that, do you think? Is it because of the bats or? These bats are seriously hot. That's a deep ball there. She caught it at the fence. What a great catch by Western Hills left fielder. Still another sacrifice. That's Roberts out there. But the sacrifice fly, long sacrifice fly, does score another run for the Lady Flyers. Let's look at this. She goes all the way back to the fence. That's a really tough catch. And she just tracks it all the way and stays with it. Yeah, and it, it, had she not caught it, that may have been a home run. Pitch inside to Bailey Spickard. Wolverines here again find themselves in a pickle. There's, there's nobody on, but there's nobody out either. Oh, yeah, we got two outs. Two sacrifices. Oh, I'm sorry, two sacrifices. I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> it says they're right there coffee. on the screen. <laughs> Energy drink something. He's got to wake up. All right. Well, that ended the inning right there, folks. And uh, we'll take a break, and maybe I'll uh, clean up my brain or something. While we're... Come back for the third inning right after this on Cable 10. Care and craft. In Kentucky, we know a thing or two about both. It's a recipe for good bourbon and great local banking. At its free credit union, we're committed to making a difference by simply being a little different, helping you express yourself, nurturing your passions, and helping our members and community shine. As a Crafts Credit Union, we're great with money and we're great listeners. We're its free credit union, and this is Spirited Banking. Discover the convenience of Clark's Pump and Shop, your go-to local pit stop. Clark's proudly serves your neighborhood, with new locations popping up just around the corner. Swing by today and indulge in a selection of your favorite snacks and drinks. We're committed to elevate your on-the-go taste experience. Clark's Pump and Shop is your premier destination for all things convenience and satisfaction. Stop by today at a Clark's Pump and Shop near you. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. My best money tip is um... Allow your money and other people's money to make money for you. Think generationally, past yourself. Save, save, save. Even if it's just $5. Spend money on things that make sense to buy twice. Pay back your student loans as fast as you can. Take good care of your credit because it's buying power. Start a retirement fund and invest in my 401k. My best money tip is prepare for everything to go right. Confidently manage your finances with more solid advice from West Banco. Money doesn't make you wealthy. Understanding it does. Welcome back, folks. Sally Gaines Field, Clint Goins, Morgan Gilbert, girls high school softball, Crosstown rivalry, Western Hills, Franklin County. Ooh. Wow! That was Addison Watson, the pitcher, hitting a sharp one right back at Kelly Wire, the other pitcher. Kelly with a big smile on her face, deservingly snow. So she snatched that ball out of that air. Yeah. Stole a hit. That was a heck of a play. Can't fault Watson for that. That's exactly what she wanted to do. Just wired, made a great play on it. Absolutely. This will bring up Carrington Briscoe. Briscoe is your catcher. If you're a Western Hills fan, pops it up to short. And it's going to be Simpson with the grab. And, you know, the Wolverines went down one, two, three last inning, and they are in danger of having the same thing happen here. They uh, 
drew three walks and got a, a base hit that scored a run in the first inning, but they haven't done a lot with the bats since. We looked at Brian Redman, coach of Western Hills, had a nice talk with him before the game. Did he allow his keys to success for this game? Basically, what uh, we, we just talked about uh, really life in general and, and how that, you know, it, it, you know, he tells uh, people at the parents' meeting and, you know, tells the girls that it's, this is about the team. It's not about any individual player. And I make decisions based on what is best for the team. And if you don't like that, then, you know, there's the door. He didn't say that, but I mean, <laughs> but yeah, he just said, you know, you have to, to be successful, you just have to to do what's, you know, the, the, the best for the team as a whole. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, that's pretty good coaching philosophy. That's a nice stroke there. Oh, and out it goes. out of here. A nice answer by Kylie Markin. Yes, home run. First one of the day. Four to two now, your score. And she got a good piece of wood on that, or I should say a good piece of... Uh, composite. Composite, yes. Doesn't sound as good. <laughs> no, it does not. That's her second home run on the year, but she's having a fantastic hitting season, starting this game at 386. This brings up Ellie Roberts, who that made that outstanding back. catch. On, uh, it's back to back hits. She's going to stop at second. You know what? I think she's the. Uh, she hit the single that uh, knocked in the run in the first inning. Yep. She's having a good night. Made an outstanding catch there in, in left field. and. Has hit for a single and a double and got an RBI. And that's pulled down the line, but it's foul. From a coaching aspect, you know, that's all that you want your team to do when you go down. You just want to be able to chip away a little bit at a time. Can't do it all at once. This is Presley Fell. And that is caught by Lofton in right field. And that is going to end your inning, but Western Hills does, or end the, in the top half of the inning, Western Hills does get at least one back. And we'll come back with the bottom part of the third inning after this here on Cable 10. At FPB, we work around the clock to ensure clean, safe, great tasting water makes its way reliably to your home or business. The EPA recently required all public water systems to have a service line inventory completed by 2024, and we need your help to determine what type of service line you have. Your help can greatly speed the process, reduce costs, and keep rates more affordable for everyone. Welcome back, folks. Sally Gainesfield on a beautiful April evening for some great high school girls softball action. This is the first district game for Western Hills. Franklin County has already had to. They played Frankfort High twice. And they are 2-0 in district play. But this is the first district game for Western Hills. And of course, I'm sure they want to win. It's important to win those district season games because it seeds you for the district tournament. 
ultimately a champion runner-up of the district tournament goes on and participates in the 11th region tournament. Last year, uh, Western Hills finished runner-up behind Great Crossing. This is Riley Warner at the plate. Looks at a strike. Riley Warner's committed to Campbellsville University, my alma mater. No, you're fine, you're fine. Just wait, you're fine. Hello, sir. How are you doing here, man? Also coming into this game with some great stats. However, that was a bad choice of yeah, the Yeah, Watson got her to reach for that one. Her and Addie are really good friends. I kind of tough, you know, growing up with each other and then having to play against each other in a rivalry game like this. Yeah, well, I suspect there's a, you know, a, a lot of that in high school athletes, they play AAU or travel ball or something like that in, in all sports, you know, softball, baseball, football, basketball, soccer. Um, and you just, you know, you play with people and then the next thing you know, you're in a high school game and they're on the other side. It's just what makes, you know, this matchup really special for both sides. And he's really working the outside of the plate there. Yeah, she was trying to get her to chase again. Yeah. I don't, I don't think that she's going to want to throw anything inside to Riley. She's coming into the season with eight home runs. So she leads both teams in home runs. I uh, definitely don't want her to be able to sit and turn on something. Oh, that's awful. Watson's leg. But they get it to first, and they get an out. Hopefully Watson's okay. She doesn't look like she's any worse for the wear, but Coach Redman is asked if he can go check on her without being charged a pitcher's visit. Here's another look at it, and it's oh, she right, off that, way. right off that calf. Good job, though, by uh, Phil to get over there and throw her out at first. Smile on her face like, I'm all right, Coach. Yeah. She might be able to get uh, some warm -up, a warm-up pitch here just to make sure everything's feeling okay. I believe when I get back to the dugout, I put some ice on that. <laughs> I just rub some dirt on it. These kids are tough. I wonder how you score that. Is that like a one to four to three? Uh-huh. It's an assist <laughs> by the pitcher. I'm too far down and I can't see Ryan I'm not doing that. She needs to get on game for me. I don't put this will bring up Avery Lofton. She uh, got a single and an RBI in the first inning. She had that great catch to end the inning, diving in right field. She hits it to right field, and that is Fell over there again to make the catch. Presley Fell getting a workout this inning. Cameron Kelly should be up next. She flew out to right field in the first inning. Nice stroke there, just out of reach of Jones, the shortstop. Yeah, she jammed herself, hit that one off the handle, but was able to power it through. Falls in for a hit. So Franklin County still alive here with the 4-2 lead in the bottom of the third. Yeah, that's off the handle. So bring up Carly Olds. She reached in the first on an error by the shortstop. And if I'm not mistaken, a run scored two on that same play. And he was able to get that outside corner for a first pitch strike. She's working the outside, that's for sure. Didn't give it to her that time, though. <laughs> Yeah. 
That's what you're wanting to do. You're wanting to establish that corner and then be able to work one pitch off, see if you can get a chase there. Kerry Olds is the center fielder for Franklin County. Hits it high to the other center fielder and Cravens makes the grab and that'll end the third. So at the end of three innings, Franklin County has the lead four to two. In today's fast paced housing market, you need realtors with experience who understand that timing is essential when finding the perfect home for the right price. Tim and Rebecca Hubbard with Exit Realty Crutcher are here to ensure that you and your family have a positive experience from start to finish. Real estate is what we do. And families are why we do it. Porque deberías trabajar con nosotros en McDonald's. Ofrecemos horarios flexibles y tiempo de vacaciones pagado para todos nuestros empleados. We can also offer you daily pay and a 401k plan. Si eres estudiante, podemos ayudarte con asistencia para los estudios. You would also be eligible for free meals. Apply today and get started in a supporting environment here at McDonald's. Tune in to Around 10, Frankfurt's very own morning show. We cover all the happenings in the capital city every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 10 a.m. Live on Cable 10, Facebook, and YouTube. Remember, if it happens around town, it's on Around 10. Welcome back, folks. We're still having a meeting here between the Western Hills coaches and the umpires, and we think it may have something to do with Addison Watson. We're not really sure about that. Yeah, I don't... I don't really have any context to know what's going on. It it does seem to be something that's maybe Addie's doing in the circle. Here, here it was between innings. We don't know what they're talking about, but obviously the umpire is telling Addie something. You know, don't do that anymore or something. It kind of looked like he was saying something to that effect. It, and she looked like she understood. But yeah, yeah. And I'll be honest, you, you, you probably know this better than I do since you played high school and college fast pitch softball. Um, what is the rules as far as the, the rubber? Um, so you'll see you have to have that one foot on the rubber um, and you, you do have to be able to present the ball to the batter before you're able to put it in your glove. Cravens flies out to left field. Emma Olds makes the catch. Does your foot have to be on rubber when you release the ball? No, the foot's not going to be able to be on the rubber because you're going to drive I didn't, off. I didn't think so either. Nope. Oh! First error for Franklin County defense. Yeah, that's a hot one. Okia Akula. They've recently changed pitching rules. Um, you didn't used to be able to leave the ground. You had to have one foot in contact with the ground at all times. That's changed this year. You just can't replant. Does that benefit a lot of pitchers or, or not really? It just kind of depends on the pitcher, the player? Yeah, I mean... I've always kind of felt like keeping that toe down allows for bigger, better control. Speak of redeeming yourself with the out there. Two outs and brings up the top of the lineup for Western Hills. Allie Jones drew a walk in the first, reached on a fielder's choice. Or actually, no, I'll take that back. She didn't reach. She hit a fielder's choice and was thrown out in a double play. Ball in the 5-6 hole, Chloe, not in time. I'm going to give that a hit because the shortstop fielded it cleanly and, you know. Yeah, she had to go backside into her backhand there to the 5-6 hole, make a throw across. That's the Derek Jeter opportunity right there. <laughs> We'll give Allie a hit for this. And this brings up Addie Watson. 
That's in the dirt. It's a big opportunity for Addie to help herself as a pitcher here as a batter with two on. Or the umpire declared play ball. But she had yeah, we got Pakula at second base. And she's she's fast. Addie gets jammed. Oh. And reaches on an error, and a run is going to score. And Jones will move the third. Yeah, that was all around bad defense there for Franklin County. Here's another look. You get an easy ground ball from your leading hitter, James herself. End up allowing a run to score. Heads up base running by the Wolverines, and now they've cut the lead down to one, and they've got a little powwow going on here inside the circle. This is a good call from your leadership here for Franklin County to calm the nerves, refocus. You got two outs. Let's get out of the inning without any further damage. It's good senior leadership. There's another look at the last play. And Simpson's just, uh, she fielded it cleanly, just couldn't get out of her glove to throw it over the Yeah, no need speaker. to throw the ball there. Runner was already there, hold on to it. That runner wouldn't have ever been able to go home. Carrington Briscoe in the box now. Come on now nobody Speaking of in the box, yeah. before the game, we had a pregame ceremony where we introduced a, a group that you're affiliated with. Yeah, so um, I'm a manager at the batter's box. It's a local baseball, softball facility, indoor. Uh, we've been established for just under two years. And this year we felt like we needed to kind of put together an organization that allowed for youth to uh, receive high level instruction, compete at a high, higher level. Um, so you got a seven U team or seven and under and an eight and under team, is that right? Yeah, and the idea is just every year as they age up, we'll just add another team, another seven U team uh, until hopefully we can span all ages and this is for any any girl in the county or any girl even in could could a girl from say uh, Scott County play on the team they wanted to? Yeah, so we do have uh, a couple of players from other counties, Henry County, Anderson County. Uh, we try out uh, you have to be selected. Briscoe with a strong at bat here. I just really want our youth to have the opportunity to learn the game that I love, that's given so much to me, um, learn it correctly, and, you know, be a part of our community. You know, you mentioned something there that, that you know, a sport that you love, and uh, Coach Redmond and I talked before the game. That's one of the things that come up about, you know, you got to love it because, you know, there are – it's a, you know, a rare few, but there are some people that, you know, they get upset at high school coaches and stuff like this, like, they're not doing it for the money. They make next to nothing That's the time fact. that they put in. They do it because they love the sport. They love the game. They love these girls or boys if you're a boys coach. And uh, that's why they do it. Yeah, and, absolutely. Uh, you know, I hope... Uh, but everybody cuts them some slack. They're, they're doing the best they can. And uh, that's good connection there. Yep, but it's a long out to Emma Olds. Western and Hills gets back one. That'll end the top of the fourth. But we have, we've got a close game, four to three, here on Cable 10. Retire a millionaire? Is this yearly? Okay. A lot. <laughs> it's a big number, but it's doable. I mean, yearly, a few hundred every month, you can get here pretty easily. I might get coffee a little less. I think I could save 7000 a year. It just comes down to budgeting. To retire a millionaire, I think it'd be worth it, though. I want to leave a legacy for my kids. Save more for retirement with tips from Wasbenko. Money doesn't make you wealthy. Understanding it does.
discover the convenience of Clark's Pump and Shop, your go-to local pit stop. Clark's proudly serves your neighborhood with new locations popping up just around the corner. Swing by today and indulge in a selection of your favorite snacks and drinks. We're committed to elevate your on-the-go taste experience. Clark's Pump and Shop is your premier destination for all things convenience and satisfaction. Stop by today at a Clark's Pump and Shop near you. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Hello folks, welcome back to Sally Gaines Field. As you can see, we've got a beautiful night here. Weather is gorgeous. Yes, it is. It feels like summer. Love it. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to stay away. Stay no, around. I think uh, Saturday's high is going to be about 20 degrees less than today's <laughs> high. Well, that's all right. You know, that's all right. It's Kentucky. Bottom of the fourth. That was Caitlin Spickard. And she flies out to Jones. Jones tracked that ball really well going back. Out to the outfield. That's a nice catch by Western Hills shortstop. That's harder than it looks. Absolutely. Curious to see if we see any changes in Addie Watson, trying to figure out what the conversation was. Right. At the end, you know, at the bottom of the third. Oh, called foul ball here. Must have hit her foot. Yeah, hit her in the box is what the umpire indicated. Here it is, and oh, oh it hit the knee. Ow. Saw Addie walk, work in there on Emma Olds. Comes back with a change up. Emma hit a double in the second inning. And then scored on a sacrifice fly by good. Madison McCoy. Good pitch there by Eddie. Outside, right of the knees. Excellent spot. Ahead of the count now. Let's see what she throws. Smart pitch. She worked herself one ball off the plate. You don't want to give her anything fat. You know that the batter's going to be protecting with anything close. Mm -hmm. Still working on the outside corner. Foul tip by Emma Olds. You just never want to leave that that kind of call in the umpire's hands. You don't want them to make that choice for you and ring you up on third strike. Yeah. Two strikes, you got to swing if it's close. And that's going to be foul. After a couple of pitches outside, Addie worked, worked her back in on her hands. Wasn't quite able to get through that ball. Oh, that looked pretty good. And she's sure gonna enough, sit down. that's a backwards K for Emma Olds. Let's look at the Whitehead Hancock incident replay of that pitch right here. That's a great spot. Great work by the catcher Briscoe behind the plate to really frame that pitch. Let the umpire get a good look. Almost the same spot with this one. That's right, Kelly Wired at the plate now. Yeah, 
there we see that backwards K from Emma. I think that she knew. Yeah, she did. <laughs> Watson still working that outside corner. Speaking of college commits, um, Kelly's going to go continue her academic and athletic career at Berea College. Mm -hmm. She grounds out to second base. Fell throws her out, and that will end the fourth inning. Lady Flyers clinging to a one-run lead. Care and craft. In Kentucky, we know a thing or two about both. It's a recipe for good bourbon and great local banking. At Express Credit Union, we're committed to making a difference by simply being a little different, helping you express yourself, nurturing your passions, and helping our members and community shine. As a Crafts Credit Union, we're great with money and we're great listeners. We're Express Credit Union, and this is Spirited Banking. Did you know that your cable company offers services that let you adjust your thermostat, operate lights, and even monitor your home when you're away? And that's not all. By saving up to 10% on your utility bills, the service can pay for itself. And that's a cable fact. Protect what matters most and secure your home with FPB Security. Control from your smartphone will give peace of mind wherever you travel. FPB Security. Simple. Safe. Secure. Call today for a free consultation with an FPB Security Specialist. Welcome back, folks. Clint Goins and Morgan Gilbert here at Sally Gaines Field. Franklin County in Western Hills going at it on the softball diamond. Lady Flyers with the lead four to three. And the Wolverines coming to the plate here in the top of the fifth. This is Kylie Markin in her last at bat. She took it over the fence. Drives this one deep. But it's caught this time by Lofton, I believe. Number four, LA Robert. One pitch, one out. That's efficiency. LA Roberts. Two for two so far tonight. Single, double, and hits that one hard, and that is over the fence. Three for three for Ellie Roberts. I think she's just a triple short for hitting for the cycle. I think you're right. That one ties it up. We're going to fix the score here on, this, on the screen. Yeah. It, it's actually four to four. We've got a new ball game here. Top of the fifth, yes, Sally Gaines. Yes, we do. And we got Coach Spickard out there on the mound. There's another look at it from the Whitehead Hancock instant replay. And see the first base coach, Buddy Ritchie, giving her a clap as she rounds the bases. Yeah, that was just a no-brainer. That was uh, a home run off of the bat. Everybody, I think, on the field knew it was gone. Gets her team back in the game. Looks like we've got a pitch and change here for Franklin County. Presley Phil and Coach Brian Redman there. I peep uh, Linda there in the background, world-class reporter for the State Journal. Oh, yeah. She does great coverage of all of our sports here in Franklin County. Well, it looks like Madison McCoy is going to be the pitcher. Yeah, so Madison and Kelly seem to have uh, shared most of the workload uh, this season through the last, you know, county's only had 10 games. Um, those are their two primary pitchers. I wonder if uh, Wired went to third base. Yes. Nice pitch there, right down the pipe. So far this season, Madison is, um, she has a 3.88 ERA. 
And she gets her first batter to ground out to her. This will bring up Caitlin Cravens, who has flied out twice tonight, once to left, once to right. Starts off here with the ball. And there she, she hits for the cycle. She flew out to center. So now she has flown out to each one. See how, see what I did there? Yes, I see, I see what you did there. It's a different kind of cycle. That's right. <laughs> All right, that ends the top of the fourth for Western Hills. See if the Flyers can answer here up next. Hey, grab the popcorn and tablet. <laughs> Where are we going? You'll see. Come on. This is my favorite movie ever. This is my favorite first date ever. Watch your favorite shows and movies wherever you are with Watch TV Everywhere. Included free with your FPB cable TV service. Tune in to Around 10, Frankfurt's very own morning show. We cover all the happenings in the capital city every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 10 a.m. Live on Cable 10, Facebook, and YouTube. Remember, if it happens around town, it's on Around 10. All right, it's the bottom of the fifth, not the fourth inning. My apologies. And Franklin County at the plate. Tie ball game. Addison Watson in the circle. Madison McCoy now just left the plate, or left the circle, and now she's in the batter's box. Files that one down the left field line. And boy, she really gets her batter on fast. Yes, very quick hands. Uh, two strikes here for Addie Watson. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see a, a change up here. She's probably definitely gonna work outside. Way outside. Mm -hmm. You're right on both accounts. Off speed pitch there, falls in the dirt. 2 2. Good eye there by Madison, not to swing at that one because. It was looking pretty good until it kind of rolled off the table there at the very end. That one chased high. Looks like it went out of play. Fouled that one off, still alive. Back in your day, did the pitchers wear a lot of the face masks? A lot of them or no? No, it wasn't a requirement. Uh, back in my day, the only one that wore a face mask was the catcher. Uh, but I've also seen some really nasty injuries uh, happen. I remember working, uh, this has been 10 or 12 years ago, a University of Louisville softball game in the Big East tournament and a line drive hit the pitcher in the head and a knot the size of a grapefruit swelled up immediately on that, the front of that girl's face. 
I mean, the oh rubber's 43 feet, but by the time they deliver, they're under 40. That's a nice swing. And a nice catch out in left field by Roberts. So by the time they release the pitch, you know, we're looking at being 39, 38 feet from the hitter. Um, and these bats, they just totally changed the game. You know, when I, I played at County, when I first started, the bats were aluminum. You know, you hit it and it hurts your ears. Mm -hmm. um, and then through my course, going through college, when I first started seeing composite bats and Bailey Spickard squeaking one through the three, four hole. But in college, it's optional. In the state of Kentucky, the pitcher, the first baseman, and the third baseman have to wear face masks. Oh, really? I did not know about the uh, first baseman and third baseman. In college, it's optional. So, you you know, if you watch any college games, you see some pitchers elect to wear it and some don't. Well, as a former first baseman, I think I would hate that. I mean. I wouldn't know any different because I caught all my life. So. <laughs> It's just, um, I always felt that was far enough from the bag. To... Yeah. So these two are going to continue to compete against each other with Addie going to Georgetown, Riley going to Campbellsville. Those are Mid-South Conference rivals. So this pitcher-hitter matchup is bound to continue for at least four more years. Yeah, both Mid-South schools. Addie got Riley to chase. Little, was that a change up? Yeah, you call it it was off speed up? for sure. Riley sat on it, just couldn't keep it between the foul poles. The other thing you mentioned that I was thinking about, you said that like, when they released the ball, they were about 40 feet away from the plate. But the other thing is the speed at which they throw these balls and how close they are. And it's it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a 100 mile an hour fastball in baseball. I mean, they don't throw it 100 miles an hour, but they're so much closer to home plate. Yeah, your reaction than, time baseball. is very similar. Yes. And I'd say for a pitcher, it's probably even less. Yes, coming back as far as defense. Yeah, yeah it's a hard position to uh, field because you're coming out of your windup and then having to establish yourself in a defense position. Fouls that one there off the inside of her foot. Never feels good. No. Walk it off. Yep. Was, she, was she the one that fouled it off her knee earlier? Or was that no. somebody else? Uh, it was, uh, I think that was Emma Olds. Big get bad here. Yeah, Eddie's been able to gain her composure here in stymie Franklin County's offense. They came out hot. Western Hills has fought their way back into this game. Nice catch by uh -oh. Cravens. And double, turn a double play. play from center wow. field. Wow. Simpson getting thrown out on the aggressive lead. So that'll end the fifth, but let's take another look at it on our Whitehead Hancock instant replay. And she gets them both. Now, how did we get here to four and four? Well, let's take a look back and find out. In the first inning, Western Hills had the bases loaded and they score a run. Conservative base running, they may have had two. But then in the bottom of the first, Franklin County answers back 
with hits by Bailey Spickard, Riley Warner, and Avery Lofton. And then they score again in the second on the sack fly right here. And that makes it four to one. But then Western Hills, there's the first home run by Kylie Markin. And then a little error here at shortstop by Simpson. That scores Akula. And then we have another home run. That one was by Roberts. And that brings us to the score we have now, four to four after five. a nice view. You get to look at the additions made to uh, Benny Watkins Field there at Franklin County High School. Yeah, it's it's bigger than the original stands, isn't it? Yes, most definitely. Kula at the plate. Leads off the Wolverines in the top of the six. One pitch, one hit. Western Hills has leadoff runner on first. Leadoff batter at first. That's what you want the leadoff to do. Akula here has some wills, so we'll see if Brian Remen is aggressive and steals her. Thought about it, but she gets back. I believe this is Mackenzie Hellard at the plate for the Wolverines. It is. Mackenzie is the third baseman. Up the middle, but Madison unable to cleanly field it. And Hellard beats out the throw. Yeah, that's just an example of that reaction time for a pitcher on defense. Just gets on her real quick, gets a glove on it, but wasn't able to come up with it. I'm gonna give her a hit. I'm not sure the scoreboard would reflect the same way. I know, but you know, I'm generous. <laughs> <laughs> I know some people say, hey, if it touches their glove, it, it has to be an error. Well, I'm giving her an error. error. But. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I'll hear about it too. Well, the good, the good thing is whatever I put down doesn't really matter. So That's true. it's not official. But Western Hills now has a player in scoring position with no outs and top of the order. Jones lays down the butt, but it goes foul. Redmond's looking to get these runners in scoring position. Laying a bunt down. Allie types the top of her head. Confirms she's got the sign. Ball in the dirt. Good play back there by Warner. Keeping it in front of her. You gotta be a wall back there. You gotta work hard, make sure those balls stay in front, keep the runners at bay. Still showing bunt. Pitch is low and Jones pulls it back. Plays it down. It's a pretty good looking bunt. Jones does her job though. Sacrifice moves the runners. Two Wolverines in scoring position, and the force out is only at first. This brings up Addison Watson. The future Georgetown Lady Tiger. Time. They're going to put her on, I believe. 
just to load the bases. Makes yeah. the force out easier. I mean, she came in today hitting 549. I can understand that. That's a wise decision, I'd say, on Coach Speaker's part. Now she's going to get a runner, pinch runner. Looks like that's Kayla Moravichek stepping in there for Addy on first. Uh, what this does is it, it gives a force play for the Flyers at any base. Just a little bit low. This is Briscoe at the plate. She drew a walk in the first inning, but has flied out to short and to left since that time. So she's 0 for 2 tonight. But got a good slice on that one, and that's going to score a couple of runs. Here comes the second run. So big hit by Carrington Briscoe. Two RBIs. I'm not sure I would have thrown that ball home. I think I would have gone to third to try to keep that runner at yeah. second base and keep your force on. They just didn't have a chance because the outfielder didn't hit the cutoff, so you weren't no. able to yep. move yep. that ball around. You're right. Coach Speaker going over, I guess, what to expect in these next couple of batters for Franklin County or for Western Hills. Yeah, for the Wolverines coming up, we got Kylie Markin. She should be at the plate now. And then Ellie Roberts. And Ellie is three for three tonight with a single, a double, and a home run. And then Presley fell behind her. So. Tall task here for Madison McCoy to try to get out of this inning. I think I might pitch to Markin since she, she has a home run, but she's, oh, oh my gosh. Good cut. Up against the fence, that's, that's going to score two, two runs, and Emma Old slow getting up out there. Hopefully she is okay. Still down on the ground. Oh, they're laughing, though. It's okay. Yeah, so Sister Carly Olds came to help Emma up and in the process fell down herself. <laughs> Big hit here. Yeah, Markin is absolutely seeing the ball well tonight. So the Wolverines have really opened it up here in the top of the sixth. I mean, they they had a drought there in the middle innings, but uh, down by or down four to one at one point. But they've okay. kept Franklin County scoreless and have answered with seven runs in the past couple of innings. Some of Western Hills is doing well as they're. Uh, they're scoring almost every inning. Um, I think all but the second inning, they've been able to play at least one run. Yes. A change up in there for a strike. Nice pitch. It almost it seems like it's been a tale of you know, we don't have halves, but almost two halves in this game with, you know, Franklin County coming up very aggressive and now Western Hills having an answer. Yeah, the first three innings were pretty much all Franklin County and then the last three innings have been pretty much all Western Hills. Another change up. Makes it a 2-2 count. Roberts. Finds a hole. Another base hit, and Looks like the runner stayed at third. third. Yes. Yeah. 
Presley fell at the plate, one down. She is 0 for 2. Drew a walk in the first. Flew out to right field. In the third and then last inning, she ground out to the pitcher. Western Hills is just doing a good job stringing hits together. Would you bunt here with runners at the corners? And one down? Uh, yeah, I mean, you can. Um, they're seeing the ball so well, though. So, you know, you're almost looking to see if Presley can probably drive in more than one run here. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. It's kind of surprised that they hadn't already advanced that runner at first. You see that a lot in the first and third situation. Mm -hmm. uh, now she's got three old, so definitely probably trying to look for a walk. I don't believe that Western Hills probably has the fastest runner on third base, so you wouldn't really be gaining much of anything to bunt in this situation. That's going to be out of play. That'll run it full. Three and two now the count on Presley Fell. Good pitch by Madison McCoy. And Fell fouls it off. She's done a good job getting herself back here in the count after going down three balls. Oh, it's a good hit right there. It's going to score one, maybe, nope, just one. They hold Roberts at third and fell. It's a single and an RBI. And this will bring up Cravens and Spickard is going to come out and talk to her pitcher. Yeah, I just feel like you have to probably make a change here. Where Shields is just able to string hits together and they're hitting them where you know, the defenders are not. Yeah, and they're getting good wood on the ball. Well, okay, a uh, good composite, as you say, on the ball. Good, a good stick. Let's go yeah. with stick. So... Looks like we'll see Kelly Wired, so we're just gonna just gonna switch. Oh, you can do that. I did not know that. I thought if you came out, you had to. You well, Kelly never pitch came anymore. out of the game uh, officially. She just went to third base. Uh -huh. And so. even if she had come out of the game, she's able to go back in one more time. But if she was removed again, then she would be considered done, you know, dead, or done. Well, yeah. let's say she pitched, got taken out of the game, came back in then got taken out of the game again, then should she, could she come back in at third? No. No, she's done. She's done. Okay. But she never sat, so it's just uh, it's just a defensive position swap position on the lineup. Position change, yeah, okay. There's no change to the actual uh, batting lineup. I'm so glad I have somebody that knows something <laughs> <laughs> to call these games with me. <laughs> I told both coaches, I said, don't worry, Morgan is calling the game with me, so we'll have somebody that knows something about softball. I've just been around it for a really long time. Caitlin Cravens, 0 for 3. Thought about a bunt. and miscue there. Yep. And that's going to score a run, I believe. Did I see a run come across the plate? Yeah, she checks third. And yep, yeah, sure enough. Sure enough. That's a huge. And a hit anyway. That run would have scored regardless. And the Wolverines have hit around 
the whole lineup. Yeah, this is definitely a big inning for the Wolverines making a statement here. Lokia Okula will bat for the second time this inning. She had a hit the first time she appeared here in the top of the sixth. And this one is down the right field line. Wow. But she didn't get an RBI. They held the runner at third. We still have one out. Yes, and that was a, a sacrifice. Mackenzie Hillard also batting for the second time this inning, and she also singled her first time. She shows bunt. Loki takes second. Franklin County trying to catch Western Hills, pulling off a double steal, but the Wolverines didn't bite on that. if Western Hills can keep their hitting streak. And that's going to be a little Texas leaguer over there into left field. So yeah, they Wolverines' just bats are continuing to roll here. Yeah, they're just squaring at the ball. They're not trying to do too much. They're making great contact. It's falling, it's falling in the holes. It's falling in the gaps, and they continue to hit on. Top of the order now, the only person to make it out this inning, Allie Jones. So we've got a first and third situation here again. And that is going to be in the gap. And I know you're not going to want to hear this, but I'm going to give it a hit also. <laughs> I think I've seen it go off a glove somewhere. I did. It did. <laughs> but... That doesn't mean had she fielded it cleanly, she could have. All right, have, let's look know. again. Let's see. I mean, you know, she's working real hard oh, to get didn't. there. Okay, okay. No, I agree. That's. Let's give her a hit. Okay. Simpson makes a, an effort there. Goes off her glove in the five-six hole. Now this is we're in a we're in an interesting situation here because, the Wolverines have one out and, they are. Up by nine. Yeah, we're getting uh, into that run rule territory. Watson flies out to right. If they were to go up by 10, then Franklin County would have to score a run in the bottom of the sixth or the game would be over. That's right. Uh, Western Hills run ruled Franklin County last year as well. I can't remember if it was home or away. Caitlin Briscoe at the plate. She uh, got a single and two RBIs earlier this inning. You know, it's been since uh, 2019 since Franklin County's beat Western Hills in regular really? season play. It's been play. five years, really. Mm, that looked pretty good. Must have been a little bit uh, higher outside. Fouled out of play, I believe. Looks like Western Hills' is next uh, district game is April the 23rd against Frankfurt. Uh, that's at Western Hills. And uh, Franklin County will be taking on Great Crossing on the same day um, at Great Crossing, April 23rd. Yes, I, uh, I believe uh, we will be there. The Cable 10 Game of the Week crew will be at Great Crossing to cover that Franklin County contest. Fly ball and 
It's down. caught by Lofton. So Franklin County finally gets out of the inning, but not before giving up nine runs. So bottom of the sixth coming up next. Low credit. This looks impossible. Kate. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Didn't try that again. <laughs> the average first shot. How do I get to good credit? No obstacles on this one. Here we go. Credit scores can be loan obstacles too. <laughs> get credit advice for life from West Banco. Money doesn't make you wealthy. Understanding it does. Discover the convenience of Clark's Pump and Shop, your go-to local pit stop. Clark's proudly serves your neighborhood, with new locations popping up just around the corner. Swing by today and indulge in a selection of your favorite snacks and drinks. We're committed to elevate your on-the-go taste experience. Clark's Pump and Shop is your premier destination for all things convenience and satisfaction. Stop by today at a Clark's Pump and Shop near you. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. We want to thank Clark's Pump and Stop. Pump and Shop. I, I have, you stop I, and shop. I, well, yeah. I mean, really. You got to stop before you, you shop. You have to stop. You have to stop before you can pump, really. I think it's I the mean, best smelling gas station in Frankfurt. It looks pretty, it looks pretty spiffy. That, you know, it's, if, if you're unfamiliar, it's, it's new. It's out there on uh, Leestown Road across from the... Uh, Frankfurt Christian Academy. Yeah, it's really close to the batter's box. I usually stop there before it's, I go to work. It's, <laughs> it's really nice. It's it's uh, it's really nice, well kept, and we are glad they're a sponsor. Coming up after this game, uh, Morgan, we're going to have the play of the game brought to you by Spree Credit Union, and uh, I'm at a loss right now to yeah. pick a play of the game. I mean, Western Hills has done such a great job collectively as a team hitting the ball. Um, and you could look at Markin in that home, home run, kind of started their offense for them. Uh, Franklin County did have a double play, a diving catch by Lofton in the oh, yeah. outfield. Um, unfortunately, I mean, you know, I just, they're here in a big hole, so. Hey, it's not uncommon to, uh, or not unrealistic, it is a bit uncommon, to give the play of the game to the losing team if Franklin County does, in fact, lose this game. Because a good play is a good play, you know. This is Avery Lofton at the plate. She singled and got an RBI in the first inning, flew out in the third. A little on top of that ball, pulling it foul. Avery's one of Franklin County's top four uh, hitters so far this season with a 448 batting average. Just put three over the fence. Just collected 13 hits on the season. Franklin County's looking for her to come up with something here. Help them get started in bottom of the sixth. She's a little under that one. Good cut, but Akula makes the grab over there and right. Just seems Franklin County's not squaring up the ball as successfully as Western Hills has done through the course of this game. Well, Watson does have a pretty fast ball. I mean. Yeah, maybe that's something that uh, Frankfurt Plant Board Game of the Week can add is a uh, speed tracker, you know, hey. for uh, our pitchers. Like we uh, can see. Oh, nice change up there. I think Kelly knew there was nothing that she was going to be able to do about one, so yep. we're just going to smile. <laughs> <laughs> when a pitcher pitches a good fit, uh, good pitch, you just give them recognition for it and look for yeah. the next one. But I have noticed uh, that, with the exception of Madison McCoy, there's been a whole lot of uh, 
balls hit to the right side of the field for Franklin County. Right. A lot of F4s, F9s, And that's four two threes. things going on. That could be an ind indicator of Addy's speed, but we also have seen Addy work the outside corner of the plate. That's true, too. So a good hitter is going to hit the pitch where it's pitched. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Take what the pitcher gives you. That's right. Oftentimes, if we pull that outside pitch, you're just going to roll it over um, for a, a, a weaker shot. Nice play there by Markin. First baseman retiring first baseman. This will bring up Carly Olds. She reached on an error in the first, flew out to center in the third. that ball high to start 1 and 0 to Carly You know softball as the inning goes on it's about a game of adjustments um, just to kind of understand what the pitcher is pitching their tendencies and make in-game adjustments from from each at bat, you know. So for uh, Western Hills, you know, we can see that they've made those adjustments right. that led to that big inning in yeah. the in the fifth. It was really understanding what they were going to see at the plate. Uh, for Franklin County, you know, they're they've got to toe the line, take away that outside pitch. She's living on the outside corner and expect the changeup. I mean, she's really just lived outside and and she either goes high or throws a changeup. And right there was a prime example. Carly's worked outside this and a little off. Yep, she's <laughs> worked her count to 3-1. We call this, um, you know, a hitter's count. They're looking for a favorite pitch, something that they can drive. They're not going to go chasing anything. She takes it for a walk. I think it hit her. Did it hit her or it doesn't matter? I don't know. She had Same three outcome. balls. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See a little friendly conversation there between Kylie and Carly. Caitlin Spicker. Up to bat right now. She's the second baseman. I think Caitlin is the only left-handed batter. We've. Uh, uh, no, she actually has a left-handed sister as well. Bailey Spickard also oh, comes from the left okay. side of the plate. I didn't know that. They throw right-handed and hit left-handed. Well, it's because her mother's a coach and she taught them well. <laughs> as a left-hander, it's wise because you are two steps closer to first base. It's a nice ball. Unfortunately, it is right at Hellard at third, and that will end the sixth inning for the Flyers. We'll come back for the final stanza right after this on Cable 10. In today's fast-paced housing market, you need realtors with experience who understand that timing is essential when finding the perfect home for the right price. Tim and Rebecca Hubbard with Exit Realty Crutcher are here to ensure that you and your family have a positive experience from start to finish. Real estate is what we do. And families are why we do it. Porque, Deberias, Trabajar, Cormosotos, and McDonald's. 
Ofrecemos horarios flexibles y tiempo de vacaciones pagado para todos nuestros empleados. We can also offer you daily pay and a 401k plan. Si eres estudiante, podemos ayudarte con asistencia para los estudios. You would also be eligible for free meals. Apply today and get started in a supporting environment here at McDonald's. Tune in to Around 10, Frankfurt's very own morning show. We cover all the happenings in the capital city every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 10 a.m. Live on Cable 10, Facebook, and YouTube. Remember, if it happens around town, it's on Around 10. Welcome back, folks. Top of the sixth. Western Hills with the lead, and they still have the bats going here. The top of the seventh. My apologies. I don't know what I was thinking. Actually, uh, most of the time I'm not thinking, so that's what happens. Uh, that was Kylie Markin, I believe. She's had a great day at the plate. Hit a home run and got a double with two RBIs in the last inning. Squeaked that one in for a single. You know, it wasn't a great hit, but landed where the defenders were not. And speaking of somebody with a great day, here's Ellie Roberts. She's four for four. Two singles, a double, and a home run. Let's see if you can get a triple here and hit for a cycle. That's a rare thing. A rare thing in softball or baseball. Yeah, trippers, triples are, I mean, just really rare. Mm -hmm. Here's a question for you. I don't know. She hits the ball. It could be an inside the park home run, but knowing that. Oh yeah, I'm holding her at third. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right. And I'd say she probably has some speed on her. So, I mean, if she can hit this to a gap or especially the right field corner, we've got a shot here. Yeah. Nice pitch there by Wired. Yeah, I think I'd stretch it. You got a big lead. Oh, she walked. Hell, you got to swing away. That's right. <laughs> You're four for four. No, nope, she remains four for four. Swing away. I don't care what Coach Redman told you to do. <laughs> Maybe the take sign was on, but still. All right. Preston fell. She had a big hit last inning. And an RBI to match it. And she's got ducks on the pond. Chopper to short. Is it going to be time? I think they got her. I didn't see the signal. Well, we're reporting it out there on the scoreboard. I think we missed the umpire's call. Okay, here's a, another look from our Whitehead Hancock replay. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That easy. Easy. So one down, but she moved the runners. I would not call that a sacrifice, even though that's what it wound up being. I wouldn't call it that because that's not the intent. Yeah, no, that is a, um, it's just an out. That's not going to reflect in her batting average as a hit or a sacrifice. Oh, nice pickup there by Madison McCoy. Looks to the runner back and guns down the batter at first. That's a really good job there to freeze that runner on third um, and still be able to make the throw in time to get the runner at first. And she was she's playing up on that ball too. I mean, she was in front of the base, I believe. Good glove by Madison McCoy. Two down now here in the top of the seventh. Lokia Akula, or Loki for short. Apparently her teammates call her Loki. Oh, there's a line drive right to the shortstop, Simpson. And that will end the seventh for the Wolverines. They need to hold on here in the bottom of the seventh to get a victory. Pressure's on those Franklin County bats. That's true. 
We'll have the bottom of the seventh up next. At FPB, we work around the clock to ensure clean, safe, great tasting water makes its way reliably to your home or business. The EPA recently required all public water systems to have a service line inventory completed by 2024, and we need your help to determine what type of service line you have. Your help can greatly speed the process, reduce costs, and keep rates more affordable for everyone. All right, it's time for Franklin County to do some business. They've got one half inning left, and they're down by nine, facing one of the better pitchers in the region, Addison Watson. She's all smiles and deser deservingly slow. Well, I'm now tongue-tied. Deservingly so. She settled into this game really nicely after the first inning and has been in control ever since. As I like to say, you had your tongue covering up your eye teeth so you couldn't see what you were saying. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Low and outside, 2-0 oh the count here. To Emma Olds. Emma got a double in the second inning, but then uh, was caught looking in the fourth. Yeah, Emma's making an appearance in the Franklin County lineup as a freshman. She's uh, only had five varsity at-bats so far this season. Look at her, her, she's like pigeon toed in her stance there. That. Yeah, that's just the, you see that sometimes in softball, it's like an open to close stance. Uh, just really helps you to be in your legs. She's just got to get that front foot back even. Um, there it is right there. Whatever, she got a hit. It worked for her. That's right, if it works, you don't change it. Is there a lot of superstition in girls softball like there is in baseball? Oh, absolutely. Kelly Wired at the plate. Good pitch by Watson. On the outside corner. She's just tattooing that outside corner. She's lived there all night long. Oh, another pitch. Wired now needs to be swinging away on this one. Well, Franklin County um, is hitting 382 as a team, um, but I would say they're far below that tonight. A little bit too outside. Yeah, I've got a, I've got them down unofficially of having seven hits. That was kind of more than I was thinking, to be honest. Well, like I said, I'm, I'm a little generous. She goes down swinging. Brings up Maddie McCoy, top of their lineup here. Got a runner on first, one out. Just, you've got to do your part. You've got to, um, as Patrick Murphy, uh, head coach of Alabama, would say, you know, your job here is to just pass the bat. Um, oh, nice pitch. Starts her off there with a change up, just her timing. <laughs> to give you any indication, this is the 31st plate appearance for Franklin County tonight, and they have seven hits. Okay. 
So seven Clint Going hits. Yes, <laughs> seven Clint Goins hits. So with that math, we're at a we're at two twenty five batting average. Maddie rolls that to the third baseman, unable to get the runner at second. Yeah, Emma Ohl's just too quick. That's who's running. She may have got a pinch runner in there. Nice play by Hellard over there at third. And it's coming down to senior Bailey Spicker to see if she can extend this inning one more batter. Or if it'll put a close here on the first matchup, Frank County Western Hills 2024. Don't forget, folks, when this game's over, we're going to have the play of the game brought to you by Spree Credit Union. Stick around for that. It looks like our next matchup between Franklin County and Western Hills will be April the 30th. That's at Western Hills. Um, that will be their game where they choose a cause or someone uh, to support that's battled with cancer. It's their strikeout cancer game. Uh, and the Cable 10 Game of the Week crew will be there to broadcast that game on Cable 10 and on YouTube. Bailey fouls that one off. Bailey is the uh, designated player. Is that, am I using a, that's the right phrase? Yeah, she typically in the past has played third base, but she suffered an injury, I think late in her bowling season, um, mm. that is preventing her from being able to throw the ball uh, overhand uh, very successfully or kind of without, you know, all the way from third to first. So mm -hmm. um, they've been using Madison and Kelly there at third and allowing Bailey to still hit as the designated player, uh, which means that um, she's hitting and Chloe would be the flex player. So Chloe plays defense, Bailey hits. Fouled out of play. Well, no, not quite out of play, but uh, down the right field line. Out of reach, I should say. She's battling here in this at-bat. It's a good connection, pulls it mm -hmm. foul. That was a good cut. That would have been out of here, I think. It was between the lines. So if you want to catch Franklin County back in action this week, they're home again tomorrow against Tate Creek, Tate's Creek, um, and then go away Thursday at Henry Clay. Cravens makes the final out of the game. Western Hills wins it 13 to four. We'll come back with the Spree Credit Union play of the game right after this on Cable 10. The Game of the Week play of the game is brought to you by Expree Credit Union. Expree Credit Union wishes all our local teams a great season. Show your local spirit with a spirited debit card featuring your school colors and mascot. Open an Expree Spirited account today and let the rivalry continue. Federally insured by NCUA. Care and craft. In Kentucky, we know a thing or two about both. It's a recipe for good bourbon and great local banking. At Expree Credit Union, we're committed to making a difference by simply being a little different. Helping you express yourself, nurturing your passions, and helping our members and community shine. As a craft credit union, we're great with money, and we're great listeners. We're Expree Credit Union, and this is Spirited Banking. Welcome back, folks. Clint Goins and Morgan Gilbert here at Sally Jane's Field, where we just watched the Crosstown Western Hills Lady Wolverines beat the Lady Flyers of Franklin County 13 to four. And now it's time for our Expree Credit Union play of the game. 
here it is. Ellie Roberts had a great night. And she went four for four, I believe. And there is her home run. Now this was just really the hit that kind of busted it open for Western Hills. Uh, started that nine run inning in the six that really just solidified the game for the Wolverines. All right. We thank you for joining us tomorrow night. We're going to be back over at Franklin County, but watching baseball as the Flyers uh, boys baseball team uh, plays right here on Cable 10 and on YouTube. For Morgan Gilbert, I'm Clint Goins and the rest of the crew. We appreciate you watching, and we will leave you with some highlights of tonight's action, and hopefully see you tomorrow right here on Cable 10.